So first up, we have Jake Byrne. Jake Byrne is a writer based in Tacaronto. Their poem, Parallel Volumes, won CV2's Foster Prize for Poetry in 2019, and their debut book of poems, Celebrate Pride with Lockheed Martin, published by Walsack and Wynne, is available now wherever books of Canadian poetry are sold. Jake, I'm going to give you the floor right now. Thanks so much, Crystal, for having me. Um, so by the time you're watching this, the book will be available. There's still a couple weeks. But um, I am going to read a poem from that collection today. This poem is called The Sun Has Never Looked So Large. Um, my inspiration. This is one of those like reportage poems where you just kind of like recount an afternoon. But in working on Celebrate Pride with Lockheed Martin, I began with this, this concept of um, examining like gay culture and its ties to the military. But working with Liz Howard, um, who many people listening to this will be familiar with, she really encouraged me to kind of, I was, I write a lot of travel poetry. I find travel very inspiring. Um, I've, I've been lucky enough to be able to afford it. Like that's, you know, it's, it's, and so I was, I was approaching it like, well, it's kind of an inherently privileged genre. It's, it's kind of a weird genre of poems to focus on. And so I was trying to like hide that away, sand off the edges. Whereas Liz kind of pushed me to actually lean into the ugliness at the heart of consumption. And so this book became kind of a meditation on consumption, luxury, um, and and how that fits into or or, or the societies that we we access that through and what that costs um, in the modern era. And so this poem um, is about an orgy I attended uh, after my sister's wedding. Um, and uh, I'm gonna read it for you now. This is, the sun has never looked so large. I just did monogamy at the sex party. I only had sex with two people in four hours. The sun on the train blinded me. I looked right at it. There was a crescent within its light. Now I see nothing. Richard's dick, his beautiful, beautiful dick. He was very concerned with, apologetic about not coming, but I too am on SSRIs. He was so worried that I could have had anyone at the sex party that I wanted. He did not notice I had not chosen anyone else I could have had. And what was most significant in all of it? The high horse chestnuts, bangling anons, I mean, spanning eons, I mean, spinning irons. I was, I mean, the most significant thing was the spilled Maltesers in the vending machine on the train platform on my way home, an explosion of brown globules or spheres, an explosion that didn't move, suspended or preserved in air. My mind returns often to the Maltesers. My mind orbits the Maltesers suspended in the air like so many moons orbiting a large, large ball of swirling gas that is not on fire. I swear the sun has never looked so large. The sun now setting over empire. Thank you. Wow, Jake, what a way to kick off the first All About Canadian Books poetry reading. <laughs> Wow! I figured I might as well. I might as well go bigger, go home, you know. <laughs> wow! Well, you certainly did. I am speechless. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. 